Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is sponsored by Sprague & Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueAndCurtis.com. Now here's J.P. Divine. As soon as I get this paper napkin out of my face, I will attempt to address a local problem. It's not my napkin, you see. It's got mustard on it, and I only had a glazed donut. This napkin belonged to that cute little boy sitting with his parents three tables down. As I was about to write the first sentence of this piece, a gust of wind took it from his table and smacked it into my face. This happens more often than you think. Why am I out here? It's my fault. I should not be here courting these disasters. It's all about sticking my toe in the great American hunger to be European and all things, uncomfortable shoes, clothing that doesn't fit, and dining al fresco. Wasn't it al fresco, the guy following Michael around in the first Godfather? Yes, I certainly understand the urge for all of you who spend the gulag months imprisoned indoors, inhaling heated air, burning hundreds of dollars in oil, to dash in the outdoors at the first break in the clouds. I'm one of you. I get it. When summer arrives, I will often go to my deck at the break of dawn just to practice inhaling. <gasps> Maybe close my eyes and pretend to be in the now. Meditating. But I don't eat there. I watch the birds and the squirrels play, but I don't eat. I marvel at the blue skies I thought were gray before my cataract cleansing, but I don't eat. I wiggle my limbs and I stomp my feet to get the blood flowing. I wave at all that surrounding greenery for which I pay thousands of dollars a year just to call it my private forest, but I don't eat there. I remember well on those first mornings in Maine, swatting away the insects you call black flies and mosquitoes the size of robins and the swarms of gnats and ants, only to knock my coffee into my shorts. Can you understand now why the cavemen and their wives took their dead meat into the cave for dinner? Okay, all right, I, I have dined outside a few times during my early years in Maine. After years of Manhattan and Los Angeles, when I thought the world was made entirely of cement and glass... This, this diatribe is just an opener to comment on a current event. No, not the tumult at the city council. Something more palatable. Today, we read of the woes of two of my adopted street friends, and, and probably yours, Kevin Joseph of You Know Who's Pub and Jennifer Bergeron of Itala a Restaurant, who share a dream of taking cuisine to the concourse, offering pasta on the pavement and colas on the curb. Apparently, these young entrepreneurs, who, like my daughters, have enjoyed aperitifs at the Café de Flore on the Boulevard Saint-Germain, sipped Chianti among the thousand cats on the Spanish steps in Rome, and who want to share such outdoor experience with those of us who are growing old by the flowing Kennebec. But they've run into resistance. What's the problem? Isn't it that what we want, to have our globe-traveling kids come home to roost and join with the new downtown Colby kids, to shake up our bean supper and lobster roll lives? Why not? I, for one, do not plan to dine on the concourse, but should it come to pass, I'll pass by of an evening to watch the diners and listen to the strolling violinists. What? No strolling violinists? No Italian tenors? You promised entertainment. Okay. Then just for the hell of it, let's all join in a chorus of that old favorite. How you gonna keep them down on the farm after they've seen Paris? (laughs) 
thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Devine is sponsored by Sprague and Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueandCurtis.com. Make sure you pick up Central Maine Sunday this week wherever newspapers are sold and visit our website at CentralMaine.com. Oh,